Hello and welcome to Diary of a Cargo Mover, the series where we look at different cargo routes, different ships, and talk about the trading gameplay. Now with the introduction of the C1 into the game, I decided to do a small route for you today, which I think is uh, perfect for the smaller ships, and it's uh, a good introduction to the trading gameplay. We're going to link some commodities together, instead of just doing one stop, seeing a few different places, making ourselves some good money. Now the C1 only holds 64 SU, but we're still going to be making over 100k on this run, so it's so quite a good profit. As the IAE event is on at the moment, and you can rent yourself the C1, I thought, um, why not do it in the Microtech system? So we're going to be going from Bud's Growery in Uterp to Royari Anvik on Calliope, then to SMO18 on Microtech, and then selling at New Babbage also on Microtech. Now you can rent this C1 on the 19th and the 20th of November, but not to worry if you miss out. Like I say, this route is perfect for the, any smaller ship. I'm thinking up to around 100 SCU. Right then, so let's get this run started. Oh, you can't miss out on a loot box. That's, uh, that's the good thing about your trading. You will always be finding lots of loot. So for those, those hoarders among you, perfect gameplay loop first commodity is going to be distilled spirits. It's something that can be sold in the majority of places, so it's a perfect linking commodity. Now, when you're linking commodities, you're not always going for the most expensive at every stop. It's things that everywhere buys. Start pushing up that profit slowly and hopefully end up with your last run being the real big money maker. So I'll start off at quite a fun location, good place to pick up some guns. But as we're not in an armistice zone, it is a little bit dangerous. You know, you can have people camping outside waiting to pirate you. So uh, make sure you do a sweep. Make sure you bring a good gun with you. So one of the nice new little features of this C1 is that uh, that light out the back. You know, it's uh, it's not much, but these little things, they, uh, they all do add up. Making it a fun little ship. You know, it's on par with like the, you know, the Cutty and the Max. I certainly wouldn't fly the Max. It's not a ship that I really like. So, yeah, the Cutty and C1s uh, are going to be my small, small route ships from now on. I think. And if you haven't been inside, you know, typical Crusader ship in one long corridor. They don't really make use of uh, the space. Could easily get another container in that back there. Co-pilot seat, that's going to be controlling your tractor beam at the back. You know, it is pretty, lots of lights. You know, I think they've uh, started to realise we do like shiny things. So as per usual, I like to cut out the majority of the flying, you know, try and reduce the time in the video a bit. So I will cut here and I will see you over at uh, Riyari Ambic on Calliope. Really, really short flight over, you know, it's only the next moon. We've got a bit of a different scenery. You can just see the racetrack in the in the distance. What's that on the landing pad there? What other ship have we got here? Is that a Titan? Can't make out where it is. Nice soft landing. And there's that light at the back again. It does make me smile. So, as you can see, top right hand corner of the screen now, we've got that bullet symbol with the line through it. It means we're in the armistice zone now, so no need to get your gun out. It's nice and safe. Well, say nice and safe. You can still get people running back if you're stupid enough to open the door without watching. Just make sure you always close it. Even if it looks like there's nobody around, still, please, do not leave your door open on your ship. Nice sleek looking ship this one. Right, where are we heading? Look for the orange lights. There we go. There they are. 
Those orange lights guide you to the terminal. And I think it's going to be a pretty uh, straightforward sell our, sell our spirits and buy some meds and stims. So meds and stims, another brilliant linking commodity. Um, you know, I've heard people say not to bother with them because places don't buy a full load of you and they're, they're kind of missing what they're used for. So most places will buy 50 SCU of meds, 50 SCU of stims. Now, if you've got a larger ship and you're going to multiple stops and you're linking commodities, not taking the most expensive ones each time, those meds and stims will push up your profit at each one of these stops. So say you're running agricultural supplies and then your next stop you're picking up food and then your next stop you're picking up something else. You could be selling meds and stims at each one of those stops, making that profit higher than what it would usually be if you're just running the agricultural supplies or the food. And in a smaller ship like this, perfect. Right. So we've got our commodities. Nice and safe, nice sky. It is looking well. I, I say this after every patch, I'm sure they Yeah, I'm sure something happens to the graphic settings. Everything looks just that little bit smoother. But then it is a good looking game. You know, this is why I love the trading game loop. Getting out, seeing these different places. And you know, even though I do post those single single stop good money making uh, routes, the ones where you're getting out, spending a bit of time, really enjoying the scenery, that is what I like to do the most. So another good feature on this ship is not this door. We have a locking door here, so if you want to pick somebody up, you know, doing one of those uh, medical beacons or transport, lock them in the back and they can't shoot you in your back while you're trying to be a nice person. Just makes it a little bit more of that daily driver. go I think we've got the place to ourselves so this last commodity it's not one I would usually go for because it sells out pretty fast um, and personally I don't like waiting for commodities to refresh so for the people who've been doing a bit of trading for a while, you might know what I'm talking about. We're going to be selling our meds and stims here and we're hopefully going to be picking up gold. Um, gold is a brilliant, brilliant profit for our last, for the last run, the last leg of the route. Ah, oh, look at that. See, this is what I'm talking about. It's not all shooty shooty flying around as fast as you can. Sometimes it's just taking in the scenery. And us traders do appreciate it the most, I think. Right, then let's get inside and see if we're lucky. So, the reason I don't usually like to go for the gold is it, it runs out really quick. And if you're in a larger ship, that refresh rate is not fast enough. You're going to be waiting here for a long time. Lots of ticks. The smaller ships though. Yeah, I see. We're not lucky. Those smaller ships. You wait one server tick. And that should be enough to fill your ship. And then off you go. Back on your way. You know. You're not waiting here that long. 
the longer you stick around, the bigger that sign is above your ship saying, come pirate me. So usually I don't like to go for commodities like that, but one tick, smaller ship, I think it's going to be worth it. Um, if you don't want to stick around, there's two other places on Microtech you can go to. You're not going to be getting gold, you're going to be going for Beryl. Beryl is another brilliant, brilliant um, profit for the last leg of your trip. And it's at SMO 22 and SMO 10. Two places, same planet. So if you don't know what you're around, pop over and get that. So here we go. We only waited 10 minutes, got enough gold for us, and there's still 67 left over. So, yeah, like I was saying, if we had that 100 SCU ship, you know, C1 is only 64, there you go, 67. So, if we had that 100 SCU ship, that one server tick would have been enough, and off, our, off we go on our way. As always, have a quick look. You know, through through Halloween, checking so many of these boxes for the uh, special helmets. A quick look in the skies, just make sure. So this is your most expensive part of the trip so the most risky really if you get pirated now you're going to be losing a fair bit of money so ideally you want to lock in your location quick and get out the atmosphere that's the only problem about a planet you know you've got to go much higher before you can jump So we're not going to muck about, I think we will uh, cut it here and it will meet you hopefully safe and sound in Microtech. Sorry, new Babbage. And here we go, pretty straightforward. I think everyone must be at the uh, the expo center. So brought you back a bit early again. So as you can see above my nose is the spaceport and you've got the bridge leading over to the commons. We're not gonna go to the spaceport. We're gonna land straight outside the commons. Skip that train ride and uh, get our money a little bit faster. see the domes that's where we're gonna land hopefully it's not too busy with the event on at the moment <laughs> I think uh, you know it's no secret about parking outside here and I don't think anybody really likes the train ride you don't play a space game to go on a train so uh, yeah lots of people are parking outside at the moment Smaller ships though, we can sneak in there. What have we got? Oh, it's not that busy. We call it lucky. Yeah, like I say, in the events on at the moment, um, I'm interested to know what ships you're looking forward to seeing. Maybe pledging for. Myself, I think uh, I think I will be adding to my fleet. I keep saying, you know, the last one is uh, is going to be the last ship, but it never is. So yeah, I think maybe one more in this event, and then the next one, and then then the next one. So 
So last time, nice shiny lights. Oh, friend on it. Hello, X3105. Right, let's get this shut. Does it want to close? Let's get this thing closed. Come on. Like I said, just because we're in a city, don't think you're safe. Get that door closed. Come on. There we go. Don't want to be running inside to sell the last bit and someone flies over your ship. You know, like this one here. Look. I mean, he's got no cargo on now, but... We could run straight in and fly off. Well, there you go. There's proof we can... Uh, we can park a bit further up if there's a bit of space. C2, uh, C1 off here pretty well. Actually, I suppose I could have, could have parked by the side of that, really. Save myself a little bit of a run. So if you've not been in here before, I try and uh, show it off to your new traders as much as I can. garages to the right if you're picking up your land vehicle but we want to come down to this elevator here and it takes us straight up to the commons we got a new I'm not sure if that's new or I'm pretty sure I haven't seen that before that's a good addition and we go to the commons That is a lot of people. I don't know if they're all here for the the event. I don't think I've ever seen this many uh, NPCs. I'm surprised my friends aren't dropping a lot more. Still not doing the yoga though. top of the list when you're uh, when you're trying to get pyro out, making some NPCs do a few stretches. There we go, no train ride, nice and quick. Let's get this gold sold. So like I said at the start of the video, um, you know the first bits, the the spirits, the meds, you know they weren't the money makers but they it all adds up and I think we were looking maybe 120 maybe 130 K which for a ship which only holds 64 SU that is pretty good in my books and it's a nice little run some nice places to see um, and now we're back in your Babbage I think it's time for a uh, us to go to the event so I will leave you here oh, if I can get the camera right so as always thank you very much for watching and um, thank you to everyone that subscribed to the channel and supported me I really do appreciate it so I hope to see you again soon you take care of yourselves bye bye